Okay, I'm going to use my ability. Remember what I said? You want to try to keep your uh, distance. Use my ability again. And now we're going to hit him like a ton of bricks. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be sharing secrets that Archokachi players don't want you to know. So these secrets are basically ways to counter this robot. Um, I know a lot of players are struggling with it. And I'm going to show you how I deal with it, um, you know, when I do see one on the battlefield. Now, um, this doesn't mean I'm going to use an Archokachi. I'm just showing you uh, basically the strength of it. Uh, this way you can exploit the weaknesses uh, if you know, you know, where to look. Okay, so... Uh, before I get to that, we're going to be uh, dropping into a custom uh, game here. I'm just going to pick, uh, we're going to do Beacon. It doesn't really matter which map. Uh, let's just pick Shenzhen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how the ability works, or at least how it looks like, uh, you know, once we drop in. And I think this is really important because you need to be able to spot, you know, when the ability is active because you're going to hit it when the ability ends. Okay, so... When the Archokachi is like this, you uh, don't see like a magnetic field or anything around it. Uh, this is when it's at its weakest. Okay, so when I activate my ability, so you notice how it has this effect going around like a magnetic field. This is when it's at its strongest. So if you shoot the Archokachi at this point, it actually gets even stronger. And uh, the damage it takes is, I believe, converted into corrosion. So it doesn't really take that much damage. If you're wondering, you know, why does it survive for so long? It's because you are shooting it. So the way to stop it uh, is to not shoot it when it's in this ability mode. Okay, so you want to make sure that you keep an eye on this effect uh, that you see around. And the minute you see it drop, so just wait for it. When you see it disappear like that, that's when you want to hit it. And the weapons that actually do a lot of damage to it are sonic weapons. Okay, so we're going to go back to the... Uh, the hanger here i'm going to uh, show you two actually you know what we'll do possibly four builds um so i have the first build here is uh, actually a lynx uh, with devastator weapons uh, there was a viewer that kind of showcased how they were able to take one uh, down using this build so we're going to use this build over here um, we don't have to get into things like the pilot skills and stuff um, it's more just the build itself it can do a lot of damage uh, combined with the ability um, I also have the Ravana. I have a Typhon. I'm thinking of possibly throwing even, uh, you know, a Strider in. Uh, because one of the things with the Archokachi, when it charges you, you want to try to back away uh, enough to give yourself time to outlast its ability. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, Lynx, I think. And then I'm going to show gameplay of the Ravana, uh, the Typhon, and possibly the Strider as well. Okay, so we do have one over here, and I didn't see him, so I used my ability a little bit too early, but I will try to target him. We're going to do that right now. Okay, so he's using his ability. I don't want to target him. Remember what I said. And it should be ending around about now, right? There we go. There we go. Got him. Okay, I'm going to move this way because I think he's going to drop in. He has an Archokachi. Okay, so remember what I said. Okay, you don't want to target him when he uses his ability because that's when he's strong. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And now. Got a little bit of lag there, but we should be able to kill him. There we go. So that's a second Archokachi. Where is he? He's over here in front. He used his ability. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I think he used his ability, right? I can't tell. Okay, he used his ability. Hold on. Let's go this way. Don't want to hit him when you see that, uh, that magnetic field. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And now. And there we go. Um, I'm the only one here. Actually, there's two Archokachis. Hold on a second, and I'm just waiting for his ability to end. And now? Problem is, we've got two of them. Whoa! Oh, thank you. But you see how much damage we did to that guy? Okay, so they have this guy on this side, and he just used his ability too. So I think I might be able to help out my teammate here. Keep his shield down. 
Okay, so he used his ability. We're going to move in now. Here we go. What is this guy in? Okay, so we have an Archeo Kachi on this side. I'm going to try to do that. Get him down to his last stand if I can. He used his ability. You can see the, the force field. I'm going to use my transcendence. Now we're going to hit him. Okay, last stand triggered. You charged. Still using his ability. And there we go. Okay, so they have another one over here. And he might... Uh, this guy might go for me. I'm actually hoping that he kind of charges. So that... Okay, I'm going to use my ability. Remember what I said? You want to try to keep your uh, distance? Use my ability again. And now we're going to hit him like a ton of bricks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And there we go. Okay, so he charged. I used one ability. Use the next one. I had to use another one. Unfortunately, my teammates aren't here to help me out. Don't want to hit him now. Got to use my ability again. There we go. Got him. Okay, we have another one on this side too. I think I did hit him. Hold on, hold on. His ability is going to end. There we go. We smoked him. That uh, is in an Archeo Kachi. This player here in front of me is. They just used the ability actually. So I might be able to get them. Here we go. There we go. It was another Archeo Kachi. Oh, there we go. In front of us. Ooh, I think I got that scorpion. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have to see how we're gonna play this. So remember you they use the ability. Let me just use my shield. My last stand has been triggered though. Hold on. And there we go. Rampage. Might as well just kill the scorpion too. Godlike. I think they might have one in center. Okay, so we are getting him. Okay, so he does have his ability up now. Hold on a second here. This guy here too. There we go. I'll try to hit him. I think he's going to move into center, right? He might. Hold on. Let me move this way. Hopefully this guy doesn't block me. Okay, so all about timing your abilities. Let's see if we can try to get him. I think he used his ability. Okay, so he used it now. So I don't want to hit him just yet. Hold on a second. Now. There we go. We got him. Okay, so just to kind of summarize things here when it comes to dealing with the Archeo Kachi. Uh, the number one thing is uh, don't shoot the Archeo Kachi when it uses its ability. Okay, so if you do that, um, you're actually making it even stronger. So uh, think of it like the Favnir shield. You know, when the Favnir takes flight, you don't want to shoot the Absorber shield because you're actually charging up its built-in weapon. So this thing is kind of like that. Uh, you know, obviously it doesn't have a built-in weapon, but it's very strong. Uh, you don't want to use corrosion weapons either because uh, it's not going to take that much damage, you know, based on, uh, you know, the description here. If you take a look at what it actually says here. So the robot reduces any uh, basically corrosion damage it takes. So it's not going to take that much damage if you're using those weapons. Uh, the other thing is uh, make sure that you time. OK, this is very important. Make sure that you time when the uh, Archeo Kachi uses its ability. So when you see the magnetic field around, uh, you know, the robot, uh, you know, time about five to seven seconds, which is the duration of the ability. And once that expires, that's when you want to hit it. And you want to hit it with like burst damage weapons. Uh, this is kind of the reason why I have like sonic weapons on here. 
okay they do a lot of damage burst damage also great damage uh, that's why it's very effective and um you know as far as the counters you know even though i showed um the lynx the ravana the typhon you know the strider uh you know those aren't really uh, all the counters this is more just to show you uh, this kind of tactic that i use in order to uh you know kill uh, this robot over here so i'm hoping these tips are able to help you guys because i know a lot of players are struggling with this robot uh, let me know what you think if you've tried this out uh, let me know in the comment section if it has worked and um, i guess with that said thank you guys for watching stay safe and until the next video i'll catch you guys later